hey welcome to my channel this is crypto india and i'm your host shiv i hope you guys are doing good uh, so this is a channel we talk about cryptocurrencies bitcoin blockchain icos news developments and sentiments so if you have not subscribed to this channel go ahead and click on subscribe so that you do not miss out on these important informations well, let's look at the coin market cap.com first before we get into this topic so we have uh, the prices looks pretty stable right now you I mean slightly difference but uh, 4183 is Bitcoin which is about uh, up by 29% you have Ethereum at 294 so it looks pretty stable not much of a difference in this morning so we will we will talk that about talk about that tomorrow morning let's get into the South Korean news now so in South Korea recently the South Korean police had seized about 216 bitcoins from an individual and uh, this person was actually involved into some illegal activities seems that he was running a pornography website wherein he was charging members some fee in bitcoin and there was no record of uh, these transactions obviously because bitcoin is anonymous so you don't even know who's paying where the payment is coming from unless and until you put a trace on it so uh there were 216 bitcoins that were, that were confiscated from this from this person by korean police about a few days back but surprisingly about four hours from now the south korea has declared that that the confiscation of Bitcoin from any individual in South Korea will be considered as illegal. What it means is that they cannot take away anybody's Bitcoin in South Korea. It is against the law. Because the reason why? Because Bitcoin is not a physical commodity. So they cannot take it away from in any individual. And which is uh, which is good news for cryptocurrencies, right? Uh, what is the bad news is, of course, people who use who are using it for bad reasons and uh, spoiling the name for cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, as it has always been. Bitcoin was first used by criminals for in the dark net, uh, for drugs, for guns, whatnot. And uh, the technology is so amazing that unfortunately criminals use it first before the good people use it but that does not mean that bitcoin itself is bad so uh, that's news coming out from south korea that they will not be confiscating bitcoins from any individual individual can buy bitcoin have bitcoin hold bitcoin they are free to do that uh, there will be no uh, taking away bitcoin from these individuals Let's talk about some uh, threat in the ICOs. There's another news. It's a beautiful article written on uh, Coin Coin Telegraph that says what risk investors and authorities see in an ICO. So as you guys see, uh, know that recently China has come up with some had banned ICO. I mean, it is still in fact banned, and they have also went ahead and said that this is a temporary ban. This is not a permanent ban. It's just that they want to come up with some regulations on ICOs. So they completely understand the ICOs will be future, but they just want to put some regulations onto it so that the risk is reduced. What kind of risk they are talking about? So there are two kinds of risk you have. One is for risk for investors and then there is risk for authorities. What is the risk for investors and which is very common, which I would strongly agree. In fact, I have told I have spoken to you guys about in my last videos that most of the ICOs are scams. They are just money grabbing. So the first one, this is scam ICOs on fundraisers. So most of the ICOs, they don't have a white paper. Uh, they don't have a strong idea. The entire objective of raising an ICO is to grab money and then run away. That's the first one. So that will be regulated. Once that is regulated, the chances of such ICOs will be less. Secondly, of course, the uh, no adoption adopted regulation and that is why uh, the market is so free that anybody can take 
undue advantage of this unregulation. Let's talk about threats for authorities. So authorities cannot identify the illegal practices because as we guys know the fund is raised in Ethereum or Bitcoin which becomes very difficult to trace. So authorities are helpless in that. Globality of ICO market to apply certain countries law. So uh, when ICO happens, anyone from across any country can participate and it is online by sending their Bitcoins or Ethereum. So it becomes very difficult for, for a country to follow a certain law that they have when it comes to fundraising or uh, something like that because it, it becomes global. Recently, uh, EOS has had actually uh, stopped Chinese from taking a participation in ICO but uh, that you need to do deliberately otherwise ICOs are open for all the countries at, at, as this can be participated in cryptocurrencies which, which are global. Uh, another risk is that avenue for money laundering and this is huge again. Money laundering is the biggest biggest issue right now in cryptocurrency and that is why government is trying to study and put some regulations onto it. Disturbing the socio-economic order, exactly, hidden risk that can affect social stability. So of course now what happens is when somebody takes a part in ICO and if ICO stunts out to be in a scam uh, and in a society that's not good because if there are like 10 people who, who were cheated and ultimately they would not be happy and it actually disturbs your social order so that needs to be definitely taken care of by the authorities and governments so these are the uh, risks that you have in ICO that is what that is why China in fact is planning to put some regulations and open the ICOs again in maybe a couple of weeks or month let's see what happens so that's the news right now guys uh, i hope you got value out of this video uh, if you did then hit the like button and do share this channel with your friends who are involved into cryptocurrencies and bitcoin space and as, as always if you are new to this channel go ahead and click on subscribe so that you do not miss out on any of the important information it's lovely to be connected with you guys and share these updates and i appreciate your subscription and your likes so thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my tomorrow's morning video. Have a good night.